Hi, I'm Jack, and welcome to my 24-hour reading vlog, where I am going to attempt to read every minute that I am awake for a whole day. To help keep me engaged in this challenge, I chose three different books across three different genres and three different formats. For my physical book, I chose Normal People by Sally Rooney. This is 273 pages. It is contemporary fiction. I don't know too much about it, and I don't want to. I want to go into it blind. All I know is I am dying to check out some Sally Rooney. For my audiobook, I am going to continue chugging along with Culty by Mariana Zapata. And hey, I make the rules here, so it's not cheating that I already started this because it is super long. I have 10 hours remaining right now and I'm 37% of the way through. So even listening at two, two and a half times speed, I don't think I'm gonna finish this in one day, but we'll figure it out. This is a sports romance. It is about Sal, who is 27 years old, and she is a professional soccer player. When she was a kid, she was obsessed with the German superstar soccer player named Kulti. So imagine her surprise when he becomes her new assistant coach. She gets over her embarrassment quickly though, because as it turns out, he's not just a bad boy on the field, he is quite the asshole in real life. This enemies to lovers book has been really difficult at times because Colty truly is an asshole and so I don't know how the love story is going to develop but I will find out more in this reading vlog. I'm also kind of in the mood for a fantasy book. So in this reading vlog, I am going to start the 445 page book, A Throne of Ruin. This is book two in the deliciously dark fairy tale series. I read book one, which was a very spicy, hilarious, creative Beauty and the Beast retelling. It ended on a cliffhanger, so I am dying to check this one out and see what's gonna happen with our characters. While I do have these three books picked out for the day, I am not focused on finishing a certain number of books. That's not the intent of this challenge. The challenge is just to read all day. So a large portion of the content I will be reading involves me studying languages. I am currently studying Spanish and French, so I want to dedicate a lot of my energy to that. It's still reading, it's just not gonna help me work towards a certain book count. If you like books from a wide variety of genres and the bookish lifestyle, then please subscribe to this channel down below because that's kind of what I do here. And friendly reminder to like this video because it really helps get my videos in front of other book lovers. Time to read until I can't read anymore. Well, I had a change of plans today. My boyfriend got home from work early. He had some exciting news to celebrate. So that means my regular places that I film are occupied. So I decided to do a voiceover for this reading vlog to tell you about my day and the books I'm reading. Hey, if I'm gonna have a change of plans, I might as well do that with champagne. So I'm not mad about it at all. My day started out very slow. I didn't have a lot of energy but I picked up my Colty audiobook at the 37% mark. I've been struggling a little bit with this book, but it's starting to get interesting. As if he was only barely frustrated with his knee hurting, or in his case, not hurting. I purposely glanced at his knee and said, huh, before looking right back at his face. That were the key to winning at anything. Then finally, it happened. What do you think about the rumors circulating that Ryder Colty has a drinking problem that's been kept confidential? If I was planning on going to softball that night. You know, I don't like to lose. With a smile, I eyed Colty and took my hand over to Mark. Mark, Ray, Ray, Mark, Dan, just in case you didn't remember. Extending out his free hand, my brother's friend shook my coach's hand, and I swear, I swear, I saw Mark eye his palm like he was never going to Game. I flexed my foot inside my boot and typed back, sure. Same time. Colty texted back. Yeah. I smiled at the screen. Listening to audiobooks while I'm working out has been incredible. I am on track for my workout goals, which is to work out five times a week. I am curious to see if I notice any differences to my health with consistent diet and exercise, and audiobooks are really helping me stay on track. Now that I have had breakfast and worked out and gotten ready, it's time to pack up all my gear for a bookworm adventure. Can't forget that candle, baby. It's time to go study some languages and read some books. I love going on an adventure to a new setting. Thanks for helping me today with the art. My dad asked me to say thank you too. I have arrived at the Royal Palms in Phoenix, Arizona. I love this lush green oasis at the base of Camelback Mountain. 
I'm going to go ahead and put in my headphones and continue listening to my culty audiobook, but I wanted to show you some of the amazing sites that I explored while I was trying to find my little reading nook. I decided that my first location would be the restaurant on the property. This way I could get a little snack and I wouldn't have to worry about my stomach growling while I was working on my French Duolingo. I quickly realized that it was a really hot location. There wasn't a lot of air movement and I think that might be the reason I was having a really difficult time. I was getting a lot of really easy things wrong and I was getting incredibly frustrated. I blame this frustration for motivating me to order Eggs Benedict and break my healthy eating streak. This probably didn't help my sluggish feeling and lack of concentration, but hey, everyone needs a cheat day. And at least I'm still on that Duolingo streak at 123 days. I decided to move locations and see if that helped. This breezy courtyard had the sound of the running water in the fountain. I had my Arnold Palmer and I was ready to go. I started off looking at YouTube videos with common French phrases. I really love studying these because I can hear the pronunciation, which really helps. I say them to myself out loud, but really quietly to myself. And I write them down because I heard that writing things down helps with retention. It is just not my day for French, so I put that aside and took out my Kindle to work on A Throne of Ruin. I am so happy that book two is picking up right where book one left off, which was a cliffhanger. I haven't missed a thing and we're really hitting the ground running with action on this one. Even though the book is fantastic, I'm having a hard time concentrating. It's just so hot, so I think it's time to wrap it up. Unfortunately, no one seems to answer my prayer. I'm not mad at you, right? I just thought I sighed. Look, it doesn't matter. I swear I'm not mad. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. I'm sorry I asked. No response. Oh, freaking course not. This concludes Culty by Mariana Zapata, narrated by Callie Dalton. Copyright 2015 by Mariana Zapata. This unabridged audiobook is published by Arrangement with Mariana Zapata, Distal and Goddard Literary Management, and was produced in the year 2015 by Tantor Media Incorporated. The first 30% of this book, I really considered DNFing because Colty was just a flat out asshole and I did not care about their love story. I'm so happy I stuck with it though. I really loved the friendship that they built. I really sympathized with Sal when she was struggling with how her teammates were so quick to believe the worst in her, despite her always showing up for them. The romance turned out pretty strong as well. I love the partnership they had. But now it's time to get back to work and see if I can focus on Spanish. Voy a preguntarle a esas personas donde estamos. Maria pidió una cerveza. ¿Cuándo puedo visitarlo? When can I visit you? When can I visit? Tengo una pregunta para ti. I have a question for you. Mi amigo Armando se cuida en el apartamento. Tiene que ir a una clase. Julio y yo vamos hacia el restaurante de Payas. 
Hmm, ¿qué autobús lleva al restaurante de Paez? Le pregunta a Julia. No lo sé, tenemos que preguntar a alguien. Mira ahí, el señor de la camisa blanca. Vamos a preguntarle. Iniciar, to initiate. Yo inicio, tú inicias, él, ella inicia, nosotros iniciamos, ustedes inician. Yo gasto, tú gastas, él, ella gasta, nosotros gastamos, ustedes gastan. That was a little bit better. And now it's time to finally get to Normal People by Sally Rooney. My first impression is that there are no quotation marks. This was really hard to get used to and know who was talking and when. In this story, we are following Connell and Marianne. I love how quirky and different Marianne is. And Connell, I don't know, he is just victim to peer pressure. I don't like him very much. Thank God for champagne because I am already frustrated trying to find the plot to this book. I am very fortunate that my boyfriend is making dinner tonight so I can focus on reading. I am even luckier that he made this quinoa and bell pepper meal so it's back on my diet. I have my headphones in listening to classical music while he watches some weird movie on TV. I love that we can share space, but I can focus on the book I'm reading. Even if I'm not enjoying it, because I hate these characters. They are so miserable, and they're in situations of their own making, so I have no sympathy for them. I hate to say it, but this was a one-star book for me. It was a painful end to the day to force myself to finish a book I wasn't enjoying, and it made me extra tired. If you're still watching the video at this point, go ahead and leave the sleepy emoji in sympathy. I closed up at about 10 p.m. That was about as much as I can handle and I went to bed. Thank you so much for watching and struggling through this with me. I'll see you in the next video.